Hello and welcome. We're on to the Tour de France film, although in a few moments this race will end. And then the men have probably already started. Now you can't hear the TV in the background. I apologize about that. But also I apologize. I wasn't remembering that I needed to shoot a video today. So I started drawing this and went, oh, wait. I'm also have a fun title, so I was excited about getting that done. But, um, you know, things are what they are. So anyway, so just a few lines before you get to see the process started. But we're rolling into the last meters, uh, kilometers of the stage on the famous um, the famous Champs-Élysées. They're just about to roll through the tunnel under the Place de Carcord, and they'll swing around and we'll be into full sprint mode. It is a little um, stunning that um, Verholst is still off the front of the peloton. I'm sure the sprinters are gonna do everything they can to pull her back here in just a minute. But, um, so as soon as they're going to come around this corner and then they make another corner and go into the tunnel, I think, as they come up, they'll hit the Norwegian corner, so-called, because that's where all the Norwegians hang out to watch the Tour de France. So, um... So this is going to be raced today on the same course the men will race for their final stage. So there's something poetic in the women's first stage of the revamping of the uh, women's Tour de France being raced on the same course on the same day as the men ending. I guess, you know, you do have a, a whole lot of logistics set up for the men that you just transfer over to the women. Make it just a little bit easier. All right, so... I just couldn't resist calling this Still She Persists. Um, a inadvertent or comes from politics. And, um, Warren, Elizabeth Warren, who was arguing with the turtle And he thought, in his mind, that he had made his point. And he said of Elizabeth Warren, and still she persisted, like that was such a terrible thing. And he is of the old school that women are to be seen and not heard. And there's a certain amount of that attitude that had persisted, sorry, in the uh, those, the ASO and the organizers of the tour, and it took quite some uh, effort to get, and we're still striving for parity, but um, for women to even get a um, chance to race the tour again, and just the ridiculous misogyny that goes into that. So I felt like this was a great title to use in the um, opening stage of the tour. If you want to learn a little bit more about how this race came to come back, I recommend reading Stand by Catherine Bertine. She was um, been a long time activist 
now former pro, but a pro racer who's been an activist for women's cycling. And um, equality in women's cycling. Still is today. But you need to read that book, find out just how ridiculous some of the attitudes are. So, um, the hearse rides for um, Le Cool. Not quite now. It's going to take me a little bit to get used to the um, all the teams and riders. Unfortunately, you don't get to see as much women cycling as you do men. Speaking of parity and equality, so. Um, I don't know the riders and teams as well. So you and I together, over the coming eight days, will learn a lot more about the stars of the women's peloton, the teams, and just how amazing these racers are. Um, this image, I don't know if you can see that I painted there, just shows it's one of the major differences or one of the differences I've seen. And I'm not saying that the men are not compassionate, but it's very rare that you would ever see after a crash. And, you know, the woman who's checking on the woman on the ground, um, Majors, came up pissed off. <laughs> I mean, she'd just been knocked off her bike by... Um, the other riders escaping my mind right now, you know, but there had been a touch of wheels and they both went down, but the rider was hurt. So at first Majerus who did nothing wrong and just got clipped and knocked down, came up mad because, you know, now her chances of helping her teammates win or, you know, being involved Possibly, you know, if she can't get back into the peloton, losing time right at the beginning of the eight days. But then she realized that the other rider looked hurt, you know. And so she turned and, you know, checked on her. You know, are you okay? Are you going to be all right? And then shortly thereafter, the medics showed up, and so she got on her bike and rode on. But, you know, that's just something I don't recall seeing very often in the men's peloton. I think the racing is oftentimes better, less predictable, although, boo, men's tour was anything but predictable this year. But um, the women tend to race more on heart. There's more ins inspira inspired racing. Although, with all the new young riders in the men's tour, that does seem to be changing. Less calculation. So it's unlikely that she'll be able to stay off the front as they swing around. There's just three kilometers and it says she has 10 seconds. I don't think she has that much <laughs> in the Peloton because whoever wins today's stage will also pull on the first yellow jersey of the Tour de France Femme. So might be why they're all just starting to be some crashes. It's um, literally, well, yeah, almost literally. Anybody, anyone in this race could win the stage and therefore be the first. And so everyone thinks they can do it.
even if they really can't, they still think they can. So we're closing in on getting this, this piece finished. I do appreciate all of you who've commented, given it a thumbs up. That does really help me out and helps others find this channel. So, you know, we've all heard about the algorithm. So, and that's based on how many likes things get, how many comments. So, the more you can do that for me, the more other people will know this is going on. So, like I said, I will be painting every stage of this race every day, so please make sure to come back and check it out. If you give this a follow, you'll know when the videos pop up. I'm also a little bit behind on the men, plus there is today's stage. So you'll, you'll know when those pop up as well. Also, you can see all of this cycling art as it plays out and all of the men's tour at my blog, theartofcycling.blogspot.com. And then a good portion of that work, actually a third of the men's tour is still available for purchase at gregleach.com. Just look for the tour. Um, they call them galleries. And the women will also be for sale in that same gallery, so I've just combined both races as far as the gallery is concerned. And um, I do really appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time to watch. And you really have to watch this race. It's going to be some great racing. It's on Peacock if you don't know where to find it. Thank you.